All right, this is a timeline, right? This is a timeline. This is the present. Okay? Everything this way is what? Future. The future. Right? And everything this way is what? The past. The past. Okay? So past, present, and future. Let's try red, okay? All right, let's see. Let's say five o'clock p.m. So at five o'clock p.m., he what? Woke it. Was it phone? Was it phone? Was it? He was at home. He went home. He went home at five o'clock p.m. Right? So went, what tense is went? Past tense. past tense, right? This is all in the past. But what happens if we have something that happened before? Okay? Hmm. Before he went home, That's a school. At 4 o'clock p.m., if this is the past, what is this? Past perfect. Okay, this is called the past perfect. He had gone to school at 4 p.m. So all of this is the past, but we have the past tense, and everything before the past tense is past perfect. So, we establish a time in the past. We establish this time. And then everything before this time is past perfect. We use had, H-A-D, plus what? The past participle. The past participle. So again, you have to know all of the past participles. How do you know the past participles? You memorize. Okay? At five o'clock, he went home. Before that, before that, he had gone to school. Questions so far? So the big idea is that we have past tense and everything before the past is past perfect. Grammatically. Grammatically speaking. Right? Understand? Yes. Understand 100%? Yes. Any questions? Another example? Yes. Okay. Let's do another example. What's his name? What's his What? Peter. Peter. So, Peter went home 
at 5 o'clock p.m., right? Before that, he had gone to school. Had gone. So which came first? Did he go to school first or did he go home first? He went to school first. Had gone. Past perfect comes before the past tense. So when you see the past perfect, you know this came before the established time in the past. We established that he went home at 5 o'clock. So everything before that is past perfect. Before Peter, before Peter went home, comma, uh -huh. he had gone to school. That was your question in one sentence. So let's put it in one sentence like Michael said. Before Peter had gone or went? went. Before Peter went home, comma, he had gone, past perfect, to school. Okay? One sentence. Before Peter went, past tense, home, comma, he had gone, past perfect, to school. Period. Also, remember, when you use the name in the first part, you use the pronoun in the second part. Because we know he means Peter. We don't say before Peter went home, Peter had gone to school, right? Mm -hmm. Name, pronoun. Right? Establish the name, then use the pronoun. Establish the objects, then use the pronoun. Okay? So that's one sentence. So you look at this sentence and you can see which one came first. Had gone. Had gone is past perfect, so that had come first. And then he went home. But everything is in the past. Okay? So now we can talk about the past, but many different events in the past. And you can keep going. So, past tense, past perfect, past perfect, past perfect, past perfect. So, if you're going to start with after, well, after, after Peter, Peter had gone, gone. There you go. Gone. After Peter, Peter had, had, gone to school. had gone to school, he went home. He went home. Yeah. There you go. So you can use before or after. It just changes the placement, right? 